Question 9, paper 2, November 2020. In the diagram, O is the center of the circle. Points S, T and R lie on the circle. Chords S, T, S, R and T, R are drawn in the circle. And Q, S is a tangent to the circle at S. Use the diagram to prove the theorem which states that Q, S, T is equal to angle R. So we need to prove the tan court theorem. When we make a proof, we cannot use the tan court theorem and simply make that statement. So on my answer sheet, the first thing that I would do is I would make a construction. So I'll draw the line from S through the center and I'll draw it up until it meets the circle. I'll name that K or P. Then I'll connect that line to T. Then from this construction, I can see that angle R is equals to angle K because they both are substandard from TS. So angle R is equals to angle K, angles in the same segment. It's not called the butterfly rule or anything like that. What it simply means is that TS substands equal angles. Then the angle between K, S and Q is 90 degrees because a tangent is perpendicular to, a, to the radius. Therefore, the angle QST, the angle between the tangent and the chord, would be equal to 90 degrees minus the angle TSK. And the reason is because the tangent is perpendicular to the radius. So the angle TSQ would be 90 degrees minus the smaller angle of TSK. And furthermore, we can see that the angle KTS is also 90 degrees. So KTS is equals to 90 degrees. The reason, angles in a semicircle. And using this triangle, I can find angle K which will be equals to 90 degrees minus TSK. That is angles of a triangle. So in this triangle, KTS, K would be 90 degrees minus this angle. Therefore, angle R would be equals to 90 degrees minus TSK and therefore, angle R is equals to angle TSQ. But we have already proven that angle R is equals to angle K. Therefore, angle R is also equals to 90 degrees minus TSK. And this is equals to angle QST. So therefore, angle R is equals to angle QST. Nine point two chord QN bisects MNP so QN bisects MNP so angle N one is equal to angle N two and intersects chord MP at S. So we intersect this chord at S. The tangent at P meets MN produced at R such that QN is parallel to PR. Let P1 be equal to X. So we know that these two lines are parallel to each other. Determine the following angles in terms of X. Give reasons. Angle N2. So angles, angle N2 is equal to X. And alternate angles. And we say P R is parallel to QN. The next question is the angle size of Q2. So here we have Q2 and it is connected to the chord 
in P, and if this is the tangent, then Q2 would also be equal to X tan chord. Next it says, prove, giving reasons, that MN divided by NR is equal to MS divided by SQ. So in the highlighted triangle, we can see we have NQ as parallel to RS. That means that MN over NR would be equal to MS over SP. And the reason is QN parallel to PR, the proportionality theorem. Then we have angle N1 is equal to N2. N1 is equals to N2 equals to X, and this was given. That would mean that angle P3 is also equals to X, because it will be equal to angle N1. So P3 would be equals to angle N1 equals to X, angles in the same segment. And now we have proven that P3 is equals to Q2. And because these two angles are equal, we can conclude that SP is equal to SQ. And it will be sides opposite equal angles. Therefore, MN over NR would be equal to MS over SQ. So we use the proportionality theorem to set up this equation and we only needed to prove that SP is equals to SQ. So from here I went on to prove angles opposite equal sides and that allowed me to conclude that SQ is equals to SP and therefore the statement is true.